Hey guys, welcome to Scotland. We finally arrived in Scotland. I've never been here before. It's my first time here. Um, and yeah, we've got a week here, and we're staying on a lock. Um, but we're like two hours away from any like we're near. But yeah, we're in, we're staying in the caravan. It's pretty primitive. No internet, and that, nothing like that. And we just came down the road a bit. And we're here on Tumble River, Tumble Rock or something like that. And we're on this little bridge. And I'm just taking my first photo of this beautiful river with all the autumn colours. It's The autumn is so much more in swing up here in Scotland because it's up north obviously. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot more colour. And I'll talk you through my composition here. I found this little hole that someone's probably made for a camera. Because they can't fit the tripod through. I can fit my tripod through, but I might as well just leave it here because the more you extend it, the more wobbly you're going to get. Put my shot, doing 16 by 9, and I'm doing a four second exposure because the sky is really bright at f22. And that would be beautiful. And that's just going to make a beautiful shot of this river and these trees just leading you through it with all the different colours. Absolutely beautiful. So I was trying to do it with just with hand hands so I didn't have to get my tripod out. But I've got my tripod now. Extended the legs appropriately. And I've had to do I wanted to get the lowest ISO possible because I hate noise on images. So I've gone for 100 ISO at half a second exposure at f6.3. That's the lowest f point I can get. The other lens kept fogging up. So I decided to just get one with this. So yeah. Absolutely fantastic find. I'd also spotted this amazing shot, guys. Look at it. We've got these little mushrooms or toasters on top of this rotten log with all this green algae, this rotten wood. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm doing a portrait shot and I'm getting like the login and all these mushrooms and it's just perfect. Absolutely beautiful. We just spotted this amazing little shot right here. All these little mushrooms that have been eaten, but they're still really nice. And it's like little old log and all the moss around it, and it's like a little cave. And I'm just getting a beautiful shot of this. I have to do one second exposure. F6.3. So we found another mushroom shot right here. These ones on this, hanging on the side of this tree right here. I just, <laughs> it's just too good to bypass. I'm having trouble with focusing right now. So there's three mushrooms here and I've got to get them all in focus. Which I think I've done. And so, exposure time of 0.6 seconds at f6.3 again. So guys, check out this one I just took. There's so many that I can't record every time because the video is going to be so long. 
and I just spotted another one. <laughs> that one there. So I've just found these two little mushrooms sticking out of all these autumn leaves and oh my god it's just beautiful. <laughs> so I've got a 0.5 uh, second, uh, second exposure at f3.6, at f6.3 sorry. And I'm just, there's just mushrooms everywhere, it's just beautiful. So we've just walked past this bridge here and I've spotted this little waterfall coming through this tunnel here. And absolutely beautiful. There's also a tree right there's a tree directly down the tunnel and it's got some autumn colours and it's beautiful. So I'm just grabbing a quick shot here and then we're gonna move on. So we've just climbed down this really steep, muddy, dangerous hill to get to this. I think it's called Soldier's Leap. Apparently a soldier jumped in there to escape the enemy. I don't know, but it's absolutely beautiful. So guys, I spotted this really, really nice autumn tree here and I've positioned my composition so I have this on the right side and this tree on the left side and this in the centre and also the mountain in the centre and I know this should be something in the centre of an image but I think the image is well balanced like this so I've got a four second exposure at F22 So I spot an absolutely beautiful composition right here of this tree. So I've got a portrait, the tree's up in this corner and then the river's going right by. And I've got, we're doing a four second spoiler at F22 because the sky's pretty bright right now, the sun's right there. So guys, we're on the bridge with Gary. Just doing the circular walk. And that's the bridge where we started the video. And now we're here. I'm getting a shot through the railings because my tripod's not going to be tall enough. And although I've got a polarizer on and I can remove that glare in the water, I'm going to leave it because it's getting reflections of the trees. So I'm going to do a four second exposure F22. Beautiful shot, guys. The leading river, autumn trees, and, and the mountains in the background. So guys, we're at another lock right now, which is the next one on from where we're staying at. And it's like an hour to sunset and the conditions are amazing. Oh, we're getting raised a minute ago, I'm not sure if we are now. We just came into a pool. And look at this. I 
I mean, the obvious shot right here is obviously this old stump, which I'm going to go for. I'm going to quickly set up, guys. I'll see you guys in a minute. So I just came down here now. So we've got this massive mountain. I'm not sure the name of it. This massive mountain of the sun just hitting out these lovely cows above it. And in the foreground, got these old, like, drowned trees. And it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So guys, I just came across here and I've seen this. These two, still alive trees actually. All the other trees are dead. But these two are clinging on to life. In the water, which is pretty impressive. And then we've got this river coming down and these little rocks. And then we've got that. Just that. just raced along the road a bit because I got bored of that area and there's, I've just shot everything there and now we're here and the sun is setting and it's amazing right. here's my shot got my tripod in the water 30 second exposure at f11 all these rocks in the foreground and everything else in the background it's amazing That's it, the sun is pretty much set now. There's some red come out on the bottom of the clouds and that's about it. It's not as good as it was like 10 minutes ago. So that's about it. I'm gonna head back now, get ready for tomorrow. Because tomorrow's gonna be a big day, we're going to Loch Ness and uh, Glen Clough. Gonna shoot the, the free waters in British Rock, it's called. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. The location, the location I went in, in the first, the location I went to in the first part of the video was Killy's Cranky. I'm pretty sure that's it, Killy's Cranky. So if you want to visit there, and that's the name of it. And here is Luck. That's what the name of it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned.